बाबी एंड ओपन हाइमा आर एन जस्ट टू ऑफ दिस समर्स मोस्ट एंटिसिपेटेड मूवीज दे आर ऑल्सो ग्रेट के स्टडीज ऑफ सक्सेसफुल सोशल मीडिया मार्केटिंग स्ट्रेटजीज इन एक्शन हेलो वंडरफुल पीपल आई एम रविंद्रा एंड इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी विल डिकोड द मार्केटिंग स्ट्रेटजीज ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दीज मूवीज बिफोर दैट लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द स्टार कास्ट ऑफ दीज मूवीज इन द मूवी बाबी मार्गो ट्रॉबी प्लेज द लीड कैरेक्टर बाबी रेयान कोसलिंग्स अमेरिका फेरेरा एमा मैकी एंड ड्यूआ लिपा आर इन सपोर्टिंग रोल्स coming to the oppenheimer oppenheimer is a biopic based on the life of american theoretical physicist and polymath j robert oppenheimer the film is directed by christopher nolan and the lead character oppenheimer is played by one of the great actors killian murphy oppenheimer's cast includes other very well known actors like robert downey jr emily blunt matt damon gary oldman florence pugh kenneth brana etc In today's episode we will take a look at the marketing strategies used by both of these movies and will know why these movies are releasing on the very same date and what is counter programming the marketing strategy which in this case is used by marketeers of Babi Before moving on to the marketing strategies here is what the budget of these movies looks like Warner Bros spent 145 million dollars to produce the movie Babi and the marketing expenses alone are estimated to be a whopping 150 million dollars which is more than the actual budget of the movie now Oppenheimer's production budget is around 100 million dollars and the marketing expenses are calculated to be between 65 and 100 million dollars Now let's take a look at how Warner Bros marketed Barbie number 1 by picking their enemy carefully Barbie and Oppenheimer both of these movies have been released on very same day 21st July 2023 but why because of two reasons number 1 is Christopher Nolan's complicated history with Warner Bros the studio behind Barbie for most of his career Nolan released his movies through Warner Bros starting with 2002's Insomnia the studio released some of his most beloved titles like Inception Dunkirk and his Dark Knight trilogy but that changed soon after the studio released his 2020 film Tenet exclusively in theaters during the height of the pandemic the studio's parent company Warner Media made the shocking decision in late 2020 to release its 2021 slate exclusively on its streaming service HBO Max and this caused Chris to leave Warner Bros. The second reason is a marketing strategy called counter programming. Counter programming is a marketing strategy where a totally different film is released on the same day as a major film. In this case Warner Bros Barbie in contrast to Universal's Oppenheimer. And by applying this strategy Warner Bros actually leveraged from the conflict. For instance Universal Pictures successfully deployed counter programming as early as 2002 when it opened the dramedy about a boy opposite the science fiction blockbuster star wars episode 2 attack of the clones and guess what the former enjoyed the strongest opening for a british film that year finishing with over 130 million dollars and in this case barbie picked the enemy carefully and leveraged oppenheimer's release to draw attention to the film and this strategy brought about a phenomenon on social media called barbenheimer which benefited both of these movies number 2 is complementary collaborations seek out complementary collaborations that can extend your reach and amplify your message here is how barbie have done it barbie and airbnb teamed up to offer fans a chance to stay in barbie themed dream house in malibu california and barbie's dream car was added to a game called forza horizon 5 Barbie has attracted more than 100 such partners from custom pink Crocs to a Prada clothing line to hair dryers and everything in between merchants and brands rushed to cash in on Barbie mania while companies including General Motors and Progressive Insurance used Barbie in custom TV and digital advertisement number 3 is digital marketing Barbie's team used artificial intelligence to create a Barbie selfie generator to invite fans to make their own Barbie-like posters with their own phrases and photos and they collaborated with influencers and celebrities so that the movie can reach a larger audience and create additional hype. Number 4 is targeting adults. They marketed it not only for kids but also for adults. While Barbie is traditionally a children's brand, the marketing for the Barbie movie targeted all ages with a particular focus on teens and adults. This broadened their potential audience and increased the reach of their marketing campaign. 
and in keeping with the tone of the film google also introduced a special easter egg in the search engine one that changes the entire search interface and makes everything pink and sparkly now let's understand oppenheimer's marketing strategies number 1 crafting the enigmatic trailers oppenheimer's marketing effort began in 2022 with a teaser trailer and an online countdown that leads to july 16 the 78th anniversary of the first nuclear explosion christopher nolan is known for his mastery of creating suspense and intrigue and the trailers perfectly reflect this signature style with intense music impactful visuals and killian murphy's captivating portrayal of robert oppenheimer the teasers left audience yearning for more the trailers expertly captured the essence of the film's historical significance and its intense storytelling setting the tone of what promises to be a thought provoking cine- cinematic experience number 2 is focus on film's iconic star cast we all know that christopher nolan cast very well known a list actors in the movie oppenheimer engaging with key actors like killian murphy Robert Downey Jr, Emily Blunt and Matt Damon who already have a huge fan base and are popular for their top class acting. The trailer for the movie dropped in May 2023 and since all of these actors have a vast fan following they all shared the movie trailer on their social media handles so that it could reach a much larger audience. Number 3 is leveraging Nolan's cinematic legacy. Christopher Nolan's name alone carries significant weight in the film industry. As a director renowned for his innovative storytelling and groundbreaking visuals, his involvement in Oppenheimer has drawn immense atten- attention and anticipation. The marketing team cleverly capitalized on Nolan's legacy, highlighting his past successes and showcasing how Oppenheimer promises to be another masterpiece in his impressive filmography. This strategy not only appeals to no- Nolan's loyal fan base but also intrigues newcomers elevating the film's overall appeal. Number 4. Oppenheimer's marketing team brought the film's historical significance to the viewers' attention. Their marketing strategy was more focused on press conferences, hyping the cast and critics recommending it as Christopher Nolan's best work to date. and nolan's claim of using no cgi in film increased the hype so all the focus was on content and casting and full belief in the final product that has been created further the team behind oppenheimer developed a strong social media presence regular updates interviews youtube videos engaging content and behind the scene glimpses kept the film's follower hooked and eagerly waiting That was all about it. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you enjoyed the video please share and subscribe to the channel for more business videos like this.